Hi and welcome to a new video. Today we're taking a closer look at a sneaky piece of malware called the moon. Uh, so this nasty code targets something you use every day. Of course your ha home router um, or your router um, and any IoT devices so that's Internet of Things devices that are connected and open to the internet uh, for you to access and then potentially other people to access as well. We'll basically break down how it operates, why it's dangerous, and the most importantly, how to protect yourself. So as you can see here, there's this article came out uh, from bleepingcomputer.com uh, in March 26. So a few of you might have seen this and start to panic that you're going to get infected, um, your router and everything else, because you've got an Asus router and it says it's already affecting 6,000 in 72 hours. Um, so just to put things in perspective here, this is probably going to be devices that are potentially end of life, so have not getting any updates anymore. And if your device is end of life, there is other firmwares out there that you could still install like Merlin or OpenWRT. There's a few uh, out there that if you just do some research, uh, it doesn't mean you have to throw out your router uh, by any means because they'll probably still be perfect for your what you need. But it's just uh, there's some options out there. And also just because your device is end of life, it doesn't mean it's going to be affected by this uh, totally. Um, and also there is some good things that you can probably do to minimize and potentially stop any of this actually happening. Because uh, sometimes these practices and how these things affect uh, are not actually vulnerabilities, but down to sadly down to user area uh, most of the time is where we put weak passwords or we just put the uh, the user interface for the router open to the internet so anyone can brute force the password or you use very weak passwords and things like that. Um, so we'll just quickly go through what is the moon. So imagine the moon as a, a gremlin uh, with a knack of breaking into old and outdated routers. Uh, so routers, uh, those boxes that bring the internet to your home sometimes get neglected, just like old software on your computer. Out of date routers can have security flaws that the moon exploits. So think of your router as a central hub for all your internet activity. Everything you do online, checking your emails, shopping, even streaming your favorite shows, passes through your router. If the moon infects it, it's like giving cyber criminals a, a window into your digital life so they can access everything that you're going through. So why target routers? So mostly is because you think of the routers, your central internet activity, as we said. So everything you do actually does go through this. The moon has a bigger purpose. It is part of a vast network called faceless. So this is like a botnet. Think of Faceless as an army of infected devices secretly controlled by cyber criminals. The moon go goal is to turn your router into one of those devices. So basically turn it into a, like a zombie device where they can not necessarily they'll be looking at your internet traffic, but they'll be controlling it and using your internet bandwidth and things like that. And then the processing power of your router as well. So the moon goal is to turn your router into one of those devices. This massive network lets criminals hire and hide their identities and carry out shady activities online without getting caught. Because when that activity actually takes place, it's basically going via your router. And of course, by your router, it's going by your IP address. How the uh, moon uh, malware affects you. So it does a few things so first one is a sneaky redirect so the moon can trick you it can send you to fake websites that look like your bank or social media the second you log in um, it can basically uh, identify where you want to go and then actually spoof that website they can potentially use dns spoofing they can steal your passwords and personal information so internet peeping Tom. So just like a nosy neighbor, the moon can spy on your online activity, the websites you visit, the things you search for, even your private messages you send. But again, most of the time we've got to put in realistic is that a lot of internet traffic now is encrypted. So unless it's plain text and uh, you're sending it just by normal HTTP, um, then of course they'll be able to see it. But most now will be HTTPS as you'll see, just like banking and 
all nearly uh, websites you go to. So all that internet traffic is encrypted. So it is harder for them to identify what you're looking and being and actually people actually see your activity. One of the major things that you'll notice is that the internet's slowing down. So if you've ever experienced uh, basically frustratingly slow internet, even with a good connection, the moon might be using your router as part of a massive attack to bombard websites with traffic, causing everything to slow to a crawl. So as we know, that's part of like a denial of service attack. And then also is spreading the infection. So once the moon infects your router, it can try to jump over to other connected devices. Uh, and that's why we're saying like your IoT devices where a lot of the smart plugs and things like that you can get cheaper now. Uh, might not have updates regularly for their firmware. So they're always going to have bugs in there. And in it, of course, with smart plugs and things, we we'll have them in the house for many years. We plug them in and forget them. And we don't realize they're actually connected to the internet. So again, we have a look at, so how can you protect yourself? So basically the router, so you can first of all, make sure if your router is older, um, then you can try time to have a look at seeing getting a newer model. But of course that's expense and you might not have the money to go and get one, but make sure you upgrade your firmware. You have a strong password. Perhaps you don't open the internet, your uh, web browser, so accessing the GUI uh, over the internet. So you can try and think of uh, using in Asus Instant Guard so that you can get a VPN back and then access your router that way. So that's a much more secure way instead of opening it up. Again, Wi-Fi passwords, make sure they're secure um, and not very easy, not just using your telephone number or something like that. Normal general security things that you think of that to protect your router as well as the firmware upgrade. And you'll see on newer models now of Asus firmware, they're actually enforcing now, they split out the firmware update. So before you would have seen the uh, the firmware, you'll just have the firmware upgrade button and it would auto uh, upgrade your firmware when a new one was come out. Now it's separated into security and uh, firmware. So the security one is on all the time, so basically, that will give you security patches when needed. Um, and then the firmware you can actually switch off so you can manually update or you can leave that on as well. So it's good now that they're actually focusing on security now. Um, again, it's basically always making sure your router is and the connected devices are always up to date. Uh, and so they fix the latest kind of vulnerabilities or exploits that things like the moon can um, try and get through. So, Conclusion, the moon is a, a basically a reminder that the cyber criminal threat is uh, always unexpected places it comes out of. Again, this headline does state here, as we can see here, about the new variant. And of course, the headline is quite uh, impacting with like 6,000 Asus routers. So again, I would say it doesn't actually specify which Asus routers, if the end of life uh, routers and things like that, this vulnerability is impacting. I would again say this this might be a uh, a vulnerability, but it might not be. This might be just down to bad security that's uh, known uh, with uh, with a user kind of error. Um, so basically, you've opened up your web interface. So I think that some simple things to actually uh, stop it is get your current firmware, have a unique username and password. So that's all strong passwords and have the settings off for accessing your WAN, Telenet, SSH, respond to ping. So that's a, it doesn't respond to anything from outside um, from the internet. Any port forwarding, making sure that is set up. So if you do have any port forwards, make sure you randomize the actual port. The UPnP also is switched off because um, that is on by default. And I know now that uh, makes it insecure. So again, these things will basically uh, try and mitigate a lot of all this kind of things where the uh, people are getting attacked and things like that. And I think if you have a look at the end of the day, um, I think we're pretty secure with our routers. Again, it's just making sure you follow these good steps. And I'll put them steps down there in the description. And also I'll put the Asus uh, end of life product list they have on their website. So you can see if you're uh, basically your router now is not getting any firmware updates. So what they class end of life as 
is it's no longer being manufactured. Uh, the firmware utility, uh, basically the software um, will not be updated anymore. And it may be a good idea to start having a look at replacing the product. But again, as we said, doesn't necessarily mean if your router's on this list that you need to get rid of it. Have a look at other third party firmware that's still going, and especially like the excellent Merlin um, firmware we've got out there that's really good and has all the features you could think of. So again, just use best practice and don't worry too much. Don't let this panic you You're seeing these headlines. You know, of course, you must be aware of this. Um, and if you do see any symptoms on your router, your internet, like we said, is slowing down dramatically and you can't tell what it is. Your router is getting very hot or working when you go into like the status. You can see the CPU is getting going maxing to 100 all the time. And you're not doing anything. That's a good sign that something's happened on there. Again, try and just then if you do feel that you have been compromised, uh, a factory reset will do like I've, my other videos I've done. So have a look through the playlists and I'll go through all the security as well. I've done several videos on that. Have a look on my channel um, and we go through that in more detail. Okay, so I just wanted to reassure you, you know, not to panic too much about this and just continue with a uh, good security hygiene kind of thing for your routers and uh, we will be secure. Okay, I hope you found this useful. And again, I'd like to see if you've seen this article and what you think of the article and everything. Um, and what we know, do you practice these uh, good uh, security suggestions or do you have any extra suggestions? Um, would be really good if you put them in the comments and help other people as well. Okay, th thanks for watching and have a great day.